Hello everyone. Today I would like to introduce you to the Simplicity 2023 installer. The 2023 installer is an integrated installer, uh, which includes all of the Prophecy suite and products that you would need to work with Simplicity. So when you download the ISO, it's a little bigger than it normally is, but you'll see why here as we open it up. So as you download this from the download site, you'll mount your ISO and then run the setup.bat file. And if you're prompted to run anyways, go do that. So this will launch the Simplicity install front end. So by default, we uh, take you to the SCADA standalone server scenario. On the left are a number of different installation situations that you might uh, want to use. And then within each one of these situations or scenarios, you can choose which components you want to install. So in the standalone case, the idea is that this would be a standalone simplicity box in which you would want to have your historian server collectors um, and, and uh, you can choose whether or not to install Alarmcast, HMI for CNC, Proxy Web Space, et cetera. Uh, those things that it finds already installed, it will let you know and you won't have to reinstall those. You'll see on the left that we also include our common components, which includes Configuration Hub, Prophecy Authentication, and the license tools. If you are installing a Simplicity uh, viewer or client, SCADA client, you can choose that option. If you want to install uh, Simplicity on one node and Historian on another, this will give you the right components for talking to a remote Historian. We have our SCADA with Tracker um, scenario where you're installing Tracker with Simplicity. If you're just on a standalone Historian server that you're going to talk to with Simplicity from a remote server, you can install this Historian server here. We include Operations Hub, which is uh, our new direction for HMI. Operations Hub, this 2023 release, includes a new HMI designer with some uh, fantastic web uh, graphic options and a centrally managed HMI concept. And then finally, our MQTT client is new this uh, Prophecy Portfolio release, allowing you to bring MQTT data into Simplicity via OPC UA. You can click, click out to support or the release notes here. Uh, you can see I'm showing you a pre-release version. This banner will go away on the release version, of course. And then as you choose your option, each of these different options will walk you through a different set of screens depending on what is needed for, your, for that particular install scenario. Uh, the value of doing it this way, one of the values of doing it this way, is that we take care of all of the order of operation dependencies and we prompt you for just what you need to get going, the minimum amount of uh, input, and then allow you to carry forward. <clears throat> it's also worth noting that included in the ISO, under the Historian section, we've included the web components for Historian. This piece is not integrated into the front end, but if you want to install the Historian web components and not have to go download that separately, you can directly go to the ISO to do that. Also, Simplicity uh, it now de defaults to showing you help that is linked to our online help site. But if you want or need to install help locally because of internet or firewall restrictions, you can go into the Simplicity um, uh, folder on the ISO under Setup, and in Help, you can install a local help option, and in the settings, choose to have all of your help links take you to this local help uh, versus the online help. Finally, one of the things we do for you in this install is take care of port conflicts. As you go through and do your installation, we show you where all of the public ports that the product uses, as well as the internal ports. And if there are any port conflicts, we auto increment the ports used. 
So this is a handy way to know what ports are being used by our products to allow you to set up your um, network. Finally, as you go through your installation steps, you'll see at the bottom a kiosk, which lets, gives you key information about what's new uh, with the products you're installing. Once your installation is complete, you can see the results of the installation and click on the log links to see the log files for your, the results of your install. Especially if something went wrong, you'll have a list of things that may, didn't, may have didn't install and you can click for more details. And then as you close, you have the option to go back and install more products, reboot later or reboot now.